can't believe that. That was just, I was actually stuck. My hand was like, oh, hello. I'm just going to touch your face without you making me move. So, so, Layla, 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 you said you are having problems in regards to business, in regards to motivation, and it's stopping you from doing what? Just the stuff I need to do for myself. So like being more productive in terms of making content, in terms of making my course, in terms okay. of in my packages. That's right. Sort of stuff. Okay, so your content, your courses and your packages are not being done because of said issue, correct? Okay, perfect. And what would creating the packages, the courses and the content actually do for you? give me freedom because it would give me the job that I want to be able to do. Right, so it would give you the job you want and it would give you the freedom. So there's quite a positive upside, right? So what right now is stopping you from having that positive upside, do you think? I mean, I do other jobs as well. So I've got my main job, which mm -hmm. is quite difficult and it's quite mentally draining as well as quite physically as well. Yeah. And then I do other stuff, so there's other things I do, and then I've got other commitments with the kids and stuff. So there's a lot of things that you have to do outside of yeah. what you want to do. Yeah. And there's things that are a must that you kind of have to do, which is stopping you from doing what you want to do. Yeah. Okay, perfect. What is making these things that you have to do something that you have to do? What makes it a have to versus a want to? I have to go to work, mm -hmm. <laughs> get paid, obviously. Um, and obviously there's certain responsibilities with the children, they've got commitments that they can't fulfill themselves and they need me to be able to take them. So they have to be able to do their stuff as well. Okay, perfect. So what makes your wants wants rather than has to there you go what makes your wants wants rather than have to's i mean they're optional because they're not a necessity right now because obviously i suppose where i already have a job i don't mm. need to do what i want to do as desperately as had I not had a job exactly so you don't need to do what you want to do because it's not a necessity yet is it no because the job gives you what money and what does money give you I mean it just pays for the lifestyle that I have for the children so it gives me that stability and there you go there you go it gives you that stability yeah so what if what you wanted to do could give you that stability i'd be doing that you would be doing that wouldn't you yeah because then it wouldn't become a have to it would become i actually want to but that want to can feel like a have to without it having to be a burden on you, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So what do you think is getting in your way from really doing this? It's a little bit of the time element because by the time I do have a little bit of time to do what I need to do or what I want to do, then I'm tired. Right. So is it the time or is it the tiredness? It's probably that I'm a bit burnt out because my yeah. like my job's quite demanding and mentally demanding. It's quite emotionally draining. So it's probably the lack of motivation for that is because I'm just a little bit emotionally drained, I suppose. Right. So you feel emotionally drained, which is causing you to feel burnt out, which is stopping you from doing what you want to do and only making you do what you have to do. Yeah. And what does that make you feel? I get frustrated with myself. Right. What about it makes you frustrated? 
it is a form of self-neglect it's stuff that I want to do like I should be mm. able to, to to want to be able to do that for myself because mm. it is a form of self-neglect isn't it Most causing that self neglect. There you go. You can notice your eyes just blinking more. It's perfectly normal. Okay. Um, don't actually know what causes self neglect. And I know you don't know right now, but I know that you do know deep down. I feel like it's a bit lazy. Say again? I feel like it's a bit lazy, but I'm not lazy. And I know that you know that you're not lazy. So what's below the, the laziness? Because we both know it's not laziness, really. Procrastination. There you go. What's causing the procrastination? I think it is that I know that I don't have to do it. There you go. I obviously I'm, I'm comfortable, but I, I want to do this because it's more my passion. So you're comfortable where you are and doing something you want to do immediately makes you uncomfortable, but long term does what? Gives me freedom. So the immediate discomfort is like going from a king size bed to a hard wooden floor isn't it mm. why would we get up from a comfortable king size bed with 10 pillows with the comfiest duvet to lay on a floor with a flannel i mean you wouldn't you wouldn't would you <laughs> but what if the leverage was that if you sleep on the floor for a week with this flannel you're going to have perfect posture and you'll never have back problems in your life ever but if you stay in that queen size bed, you may get back problems later on in life. And you're most likely going to get back problems later in life. What would you do for that week? I mean, I'd do it for a week. Why? Because it's, it's just short-term pain for long-term gain, isn't it? There you go. Short-term pain for long-term gain. It's just a bit of discomfort. So what if you could enjoy the discomfort knowing that you're still going to have to go through it because we can't just avoid discomfort. We can't ever avoid complete pain in our life. But what if we could change our relationship with the discomfort and especially the immediate discomfort? I mean, that, uh, that would be great. That would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, it wouldn't feel like it was such a task. There you go. Because in the past, it's felt like a task, hasn't it? Mm. What has made it feel like a task in the past for you? I think it's just because it's just something extra to do. Like, like I said, I've got a lot of stuff to do. Mm. So like, it's just that one thing extra added to the already lots of things. There you go. So it's just an extra thing to add on. What is something outside of all the spiritual healing and this, that, that type of work that you do, something that you enjoy that's completely separate from that? Singing. Singing. Yeah. And do you have to add in extra time to sing or do you just sing? No, I just sing. <laughs> I sing wherever and everywhere. <laughs> whether, whether you're good or not, you still sing, right? Yeah. We both know you're great. Good you. But what keeps you singing? It makes me feel good. It makes me feel so happy. It makes you feel happy, doesn't it? Yeah. It makes you feel good. It does. And you find time. No, no, sorry, you don't even find time. You make time. I feel like it just, singing kind of just slots into everything. I can do it while I'm doing other stuff. You can do it while you're doing other stuff. 
So is there anything else that you can't do while you're doing other stuff that you enjoy doing outside of this work? What's one thing? What that I enjoy, enjoy doing that I can't do. Mm -hmm. Now that you enjoy doing just outside of um, the spiritual stuff and that you can't do while doing something else. So something that you have to put your full attention to. Meeting up with friends, anything? Uh, I think I don't know, really, to be honest. I feel like probably the stuff that I want to do, because <laughs> it's I'm not doing it. Why do you want to do it? Because I want to change people's lives. Because you want to change people's lives? Yeah. Because you know how you can help people as well? Yeah. I know it works. So, um, all of the stuff that can make people feel comfortable in their own skin. So is it really a disservice you not doing the work? Absolutely. So what's stopping you from doing it now? There you go. Say again? Just not prioritising it, not making it a priority because of all the other factors and being a bit comfortable, I'm not making it a priority. There you go. Do you work out regularly? I mean, that's also not a priority at the moment. It was, but mm -hmm. I think where I feel quite drained at the moment, um, it's kind of become less of a priority. Okay. So what's making you feel the most drained right now? For my main job. Okay. What about your main job is making you feel the most drained? It's emotionally taxing. It's mentally taxing. It's, there's peaks and troughs in my job, but at the moment we're at a peak where it's really, 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 super busy and that means it's very emotionally charged it's very much firefighting mm -hmm. um so that's kind of what's going on at the moment okay and you're taking all this energy with you aren't you because you're an em empath as well mm. so it's easy for you to take it with you yeah what if you could just leave it at the door when you walked out Like in a post box, you can just post all those emotions. This that's the difficulty because it's again it's it's people's lives. So and I've become emotionally invested in my role. So and that's with many different people that I work with. So it's almost like for me it's quite difficult to just leave it at the door because I work with people that have really significant difficulties and that really need support right. so okay. it's not like I can just shut off at the end of the day like I'll think about them quite a lot even in the evenings at the weekend and, and that in itself is actually I believe to be a superpower because you're a person that's got a lot more care than another thank you so how can you still being the person you are, still having the empathy, still having the care that you have, find a way to work around that which is emotionally and mentally draining, giving you time to do what you want to do and making those wants into musts because we don't get what we want. We get what we must have. To be more disciplined. To be more disciplined. So if you were more disciplined, there you go. You'd be able to do what you want to do. Mm. Perfect. So all it takes is being disciplined in order for you to get what you want. There you go. Mm. 
Just put your legs down for me a sec. Mm -hmm. Just put your legs down. Just put your hands on your lap. And just notice what happens. Just notice what happens in your body when I start speaking this. You may want to close your eyes. You may want to keep them open. Whatever you feel is right for you to do. Because the other day, I think I told you, I went into an ice bath, didn't I? Yeah. And when I first went into the ice bath, I was getting a bit cocky thinking, no, this isn't going to be that cold until I put my first left foot in. When I put my left foot in, I realised, okay, this is, this is cold. This is cold. <laughs> this, is, this is going to numb my foot. And then I went to my shin, to my knee, to my hip, until my whole left leg was submerged in the ice. And it was as if it was numb and completely frozen, stuck in that one position. So then I put my right leg in, my foot, my shin, my knee, all the way up to my hip, until both my legs were submerged in the ice completely stuck and completely frozen. And it was as if my body was saying, weirdly, you're stuck, you're frozen, but you're actually calm. Because being stuck and frozen doesn't have to be a scary thing, does it? No. It can actually help you find the answers to become more disciplined. And just as I submerged from my waist to my stomach, to my chest, it was as if my whole body was just completely numb now. When my whole body was completely numb, it was as if I could not move it. And then when I put my hands, my elbows and my arms all the way in. They were completely stuck as well. And when they were completely stuck, it was the discipline of me overpowering my mind to notice what happens and then when I was stuck. And you may notice just hearing that. You are stuck now. But the weirder thing and the most fascinating thing is even though the whole of your body is stuck in that position, your hands, your legs, your feet, your body, one of those hands is becoming lighter, isn't it? I'm not sure which one it is. Mm -hmm. But it's as if that hand that is becoming lighter is slowly and surely beginning to lift from your lap. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you have to do. There's nothing you have to try and do here. But just allow that hand to slowly move towards your face. It's maybe a weird sensation, but it's just the subconscious mind's taking over. This is very strange. This is very strange, isn't it? It's odd, Max. It is. And at the same time, one hand being completely heavy and stuck and the other hand slowly drifting closer towards your face. It's as if that hand is teaching you a lesson on discipline. And you can notice those flickers. As if it moves closer towards your face. There you go. You may notice it just stops right there. 
completely stuck in that position. And that's perfectly normal. And even if you look at it, feels as if you're not connected to that hand, doesn't it? Mm. And the more you breathe, the more you relax, the slower that hand will eventually flick, twitch, and move closer to your face because you don't have to do anything. You just have to relax and let the subconscious mind take over. There you go. There's no rush. It's like being disciplined. There's no rush. There you go, you're doing absolutely perfect, Layla. Absolutely perfect. There you go, you can feel those flickers. That is just the subconscious mind speaking to you. As it begins to move closer towards your chin. There you go. There you go. And when it eventually touches your chin, just go inwards and notice what happens. There's no rush. Doing absolutely perfect. There you go. You don't need to say anything in the silence. Just notice what that hand is teaching you about discipline. Because the interesting thing is the fact that your other hand is completely stuck to your leg, wherever it is in that single position. Whereas this hand is stuck to your face, teaching you something about be disciplined now. It may come in waves. It may come all at once. And there's nothing that you need to do apart from getting out of the way. There you go. Completely getting out of the way. There you go. Doing absolutely perfect. So I'm not sure how relaxed you feel. I don't know if you can go deeper. But I'd be curious to know how a hand is teaching someone something about discipline. Because it's not something that we would usually assume could teach us, right? Mm. What you'll begin to notice, go on, go on. What is that doing on the side? Say again? What is that it's doing on the side? There you go. Doing absolutely perfect.
I want you to notice Layla, what happens when the answers to discipline come in your mind. Just notice what happens to that hand when the answers begin to flow. I'm just going to stay silent for a moment. So just notice what happens to that hand. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just as your mind is doing that, you can kind of detach from everything external while just listening to the sound of my voice while simultaneously allowing your subconscious mind to find the answers that you need. I'm not sure if you've heard of the story of, the, of throwing a, a frog into boiling water. How when you throw a frog into boiling water, it immediately jumps out. There you go. Notice how it moved to find a different perspective. There you go. Something's happening now, isn't it? When you throw a frog into boiling water, it immediately jumps out because the temperature is such a drastic change. Whereas if you put a frog into cold water and you slowly turn up the heat, eventually the frog boils. So is it about jumping in to 100 degrees we're starting off at 10. There you go. There you go. Noticing what's happening to that hand. There you go. It's as if it kind of has a mind of its own, but you can still feel and embody your hand in some sort of strange way, right? Mm. Even though it's a new sensation, it's very calming, isn't it? Mm. There you go. There you go. That's perfect. Go into that place. There you go. Drifting down. So deep. So deep. As deep as you need to be. when you go as deep as you need to be, Layla, you can find a way to just turn up the temperature 
underneath that pan just a slight bit. Doesn't need to be a, a roaring fire, does it? Because it doesn't matter what you do. It just matters that you put the leverage of a want to a have to. But I have to, that gives you joy and pleasure at the same time. And because now you're in that place of hypnosis, that deep, relaxing place with your head tipped forward, sitting there, breathing deeply. There's something that you've been learning, haven't you? something that's helping you. And despite your body being completely stuck in the position it is, it's extremely relaxing. releasing all that tension from your body. So what you're doing is perfect. Because in order for a mother to carry a child in her stomach, you can only grow the child day by day, week by week, month by month. Until eventually you birth the child. And when you birth the child, that doesn't mean your job is done. It actually means your job has just started. You've just started a new role in what you're doing. And despite at times kids sometimes being difficult. I know you wouldn't change it for the world. Because it's so important to you. And things that have a high level of importance to you you find and make time to do them, don't you? Mm. So from this state of mind, what is something that you could do in order to make time for the things you want to do? Say again. Just allow that question to ponder in your mind.
Is there something that you can do that will make life easier for you? And it will give you that motivation to get it done. Just like you have the motivation. And I don't know if you would even call it motivation, but the fact that you do anything for your kids. What would you call that, Layla? Love. Love. Because you love them, you'll do anything. All right. Mm-hmm. Because you love them. You make time, don't you? There you go. Notice what's happening inside. There you go. Starting to shift, isn't it? There you go, perfectly safe. Take as long as you need. It's like you're remembering again, isn't it? Just need to be joyful. 
in London and take Indian plates for my family. There you go. So simple yet so effective, right? Yeah. It's crazy. Again? It's just crazy. So simple to go straight back to that place, isn't it? Where all the answers are. Because this place is like that queen size bed. But life can be like those floors that are uncomfortable. But despite them being uncomfortable, they always sort out our back issues. What was that? What just came up there? Just how relaxed I feel. And just that it would be nice to feel like this all the time. It would, wouldn't it? It's amazing. My brain is peaceful. I feel like I sound like I'm drunk. It's what it can feel like sometimes. If you want to be able to keep this peaceful mind, which hand do you want to squeeze, your left or your right? Mm. Squeeze your left hand and just focus on how it feels to be completely peaceful. If you want to close your eyes and go to the peak of that peacefulness, just squeeze that hand and notice how tight you squeezing that hand can make you feel so peaceful. I want you to hold it for five seconds, let it go. Go back down and then bring it back to the peak again. Just notice how peaceful you feel when you squeeze that hand. Because that left hand can now literally hold your peace. Whenever you squeeze that hand to the peak of peacefulness, you can bring yourself straight back to this state of mind. Just do it one more time for me. There you go.
or be still learning something. There you go, perfectly safe. It's just the body releasing, just purging some energy. Mm. <clears throat> I feel dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy. For anyone who doesn't know, this is uh, Layla's, um, Layla's, Layla's good energy when she feels fizzy. It's not a happy place, not busy, busy. <laughs> There you go. What's your phone number backwards? Hmm? What's your phone number backwards? Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Squeeze your left hand for a second. That's a good one. Straight, <laughs> straight back. Yeah. That was crazy. How do you feel? I feel super relaxed, like so, so, so relaxed. It's I don't know how to explain it. Like it's like heavy but light at the same time. Like mm. that weighty but weightless. <laughs> Oh, that, that middle ground and how were you feeling before the session don't say what happened but how were you feeling before the session uh, I was really really frustrated really frustrated I had something going on at home that was um that was a little bit e and I, yeah I was like oh, I don't think I'm gonna be in the greatest mood <laughs> that's it that's when hypnosis is perfect when everyone says oh I'm not in the mood to do hypnosis I'm like that's the perfect time to do hypnosis I know it's I can't believe that. That was just, I was actually stuck. My hand was like, oh, hello. I'm just going to touch your face without you making me move. That was so odd, like really odd. Mm -hmm. so I, was, I was watching it and it was like doing it itself. That's exactly what it does. That's exactly what it does. Really odd. But Amazing yeah. stuff. Or you said to someone who's never been hypnotized or someone who wants to be hypnotized or wants to. You absolutely have to be hypnotized. It was amazing. Like, absolutely. I feel like I just feel really peaceful and like I've got a little bit more clear focus. And it's like everything. We always have the answers, don't we? But taking yourself back into that well you help him to guide me back into that space that's what it is i mean you odd said it perfectly one. it was mm. odd like i couldn't move like i was trying to lift my fingers up like sneakily yeah because <laughs> you can't see them on there i was like trying to lift my fingers up and they were just like no nah. <laughs> not today hon <laughs> but but that's that's the thing with um especially hypnosis as well is as you said perfectly we we have all of our answers what hypnosis does is it wipes away the the chatter in the mind and it takes away the conscious for the moment and allows us to actually access the answers much easier it's kind of like imagine going into a, a, a bank vault and there's a security guard 
you get a, you get you get someone to distract the security guard and you can go into the vault and get the money or get the get the real money get the real treasure which let's face it the real treasure is the answers that we have yeah absolutely and you know what there's not many times that i've gone into a state of meditation where i'm quite blank and that's one of the things that i noticed i didn't have any thoughts interesting interesting that's that's the thing is hypnosis is different for everyone because some people will use it but it just it just allows you to sort of be more aware of your thoughts so like you can sort of compartmentalize them like oh here's the thought this is what i need to do with it finish the thought place it over here here's the next thought it's kind of like putting it into systems if that makes sense i feel like it showed me that i have space because it was like there was space there you go because you have space that that the fact that there wasn't many thoughts made me feel like there was space Mm. so i feel like that was a message on its own because there you go and a lot of the things so the way that i always explain to anyone who does hypnosis what we just did isn't all the work the work is that's what we've just done right now shaking everything up don't mind the um filtrate filtration coal in my drink but we've shaken it up all the bubbles in the drink are everywhere right now they'll start to settle and over the next couple of days all the things that we spoke about most of the things you will completely forget but your subconscious won't forget them and the fact that your subconscious won't forget them will make them more powerful for you to remember them subconsciously um sorry your conscious will forget them but your subconscious won't the subconscious holds on to everything everything that we've done today and all it's going to do over the next few days weeks months and years is just going to continue to play out and use what we did today to make those impacts so that you can be more disciplined and allow you to go back to that level of peace maybe you squeeze that hand you you want to do things bit by bit but before you've always done what so now I, I, I see that I just need to do a little bit at a time where before I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I like to get a lot done at once. So right. for me, like I really, all of the tasks that I need to do are monumental. They're big tasks and right. they need to be broken down into smaller tasks anyway. There you go. Um, but the smaller tasks are still quite, quite big. So yeah. I generally want to do quite a lot at once. So then right. I think that me off from starting anything of course because well you're like the frog jumping into the hot water aren't you what's the point if I'm not going to get a lot done in an hour but actually I will get something done in there when something's better than nothing exactly exactly and and yeah something is better than nothing it's like I'd rather I'd rather do a 10 minute workout than no workout at all yeah and I think that's that's kind of where I've been stuck because they are I mean if you take the course that I'm writing for example it's it's really big there's going to be a lot of content in the course and each module in the course is it's quite a lot they're quite large modules so Mm, mm. it's just doing a little bit at a time rather rather than me sitting there going all right I need to do a module today exactly happen because, because of- exactly well if you if you even got i don't know whether you're doing video or written content what are you doing or both okay so whether you've got half of a written page down or half of a video shot or a full video shot not edited just shot right. then that's better than nothing isn't it yeah and all and you're I doing think- is just turning that heat up a slight bit more and eventually eventually you can fully boil the water yeah this this is it this is what I need to focus on is doing a little bit at a time rather than not doing it because I think it's I'm not doing enough answers correct 